Excellent. Get the party started. Now we let it cook. Here we go. Hi, buddy. Welcome back. Today, we're going to put hamburgers on the grill. We are not going to make just regular basic hamburgers. We're going to do Hawaiian hamburgers. So right now, I'm, I'm warming the grill up, clean it off, get all the things off. Then I'll be back in a few minutes. We will uh, get the party started. Here we go. These are bacon and cheddar cheese Black Angus hamburgers. Look good, huh? We're going to also top them off with pineapple slices. See? Before we get into this, we bought this stuff years ago. Copper mesh. Put that on your grill. We did, uh, I think we did turkey, turkey burgers or something on it one time. The turkey burgers are hard to cook. They're not frozen. You put them on the grill, they just like fall apart. Cook them on one of these, they didn't do that. We'll start things off here. Get this opened up. These are, these are partially frozen. So they are going to thaw a little bit as they cook. I got my grill cooking on low. I always cook on low. Put these on the uh, grill here. Now, I'm just going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on here, just for seasoning. Got yeah, Mr. Mr. Monkey. Dash of pepper. A dash of salt. Now these guys, I'm just going to take some of this copper matting here. I'm going to lay in here on the grate. Okay. Take my trusty fork. I'm going to put some of these rings on here. Mainly just to get some flavor to them. Six rings, six burgers. Couple left in here, we'll save them for later. Okay, I'm gonna let these turn brown a little bit just to kind of give them a little crisp a burn on each side and flip them over. I'll come back when the burgers are getting better done. I'll be back in a few. Okay, keep them moving around a little bit here. Flipping these over a little bit here. I just want to get a little bit of a burn to them. I don't want to get them scorched. Close the lid for a few minutes and we'll come back and check it again. These are getting along pretty good. They're going to turn a little brown. Moving my hamburgers around in here. I want to get some of the fire on here, get some of the sear in there, to get some things cooking good. But I don't want to get them too far. I gotta keep moving them around in the flame. Okay. These ones here, I'm gonna call it done. I'm getting a little bit of a. I don't know if you can see, it's getting kind of dark out here now, I can tell, but get a little bit of a tinge to it. I don't want to burn them too bad because I don't want them to get take all the juice out of it. Okay, so let's um, move these around. I'm gonna take these guys off. Now, while I got this thing out here, I'm going to take the buns, put them on here a little bit, kind of just brown the edges of the buns. Okay.
normally have a little spray bottle out of here. I spray the uh, flame to keep it down, but these burgers are so thick. I like that little extra burn to it. Okay, I think these burgers are almost done. Okay. See the buns? Can't really tell how I'll show you inside. Go to the house and show you what we got. I see the I see the lens is cleaned already. I'll clean it later. I'll show you what we have here. These are the buns. See there? And these are the pineapples and the hamburgers. Now, when you garnish these things, you don't do the regular ketchup mustard barbecue sauce. Excellent. Take the hamburgers. Hamburger. 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 Let's take this one here. I do this one one handed. Not easy. Okay. Right, everybody has their, their favorite favorite uh, flavor of uh, barbecue sauce. We personally like Sweet Baby Ray's. Okay. All right, everybody. What do you think? Sounds good, huh? I think I should try it. It is really delicious. Anyways. Thanks for watching tonight. Hope you enjoy the video. If you like the, like the video, give me a thumbs up. Turn your notification bell so you can see more videos. See you next time. Take care.